what is up Cobalts? welcome to the youtube channel cool it hope you guys are having a great day so you really probably know the title of this video is actually is dart better than javascript oh you can see my pc javascript versus dart so we're gonna find out i personally have my opinions i use both of these um technologies so i'm going trying to give out the pros and the cons of each of them and you guys can make a pick so let's get into the video on the first question i'm going to ask is first of all what is dart what is that programming language dart is a programming language that was initially used um, at google to build web server and mobile applications um, dart is like it's been around since 2011 but it didn't get um any like wasn't like noticed or didn't get any attention outside of google Dart um, it compiles like it compiles source code similar to other programming language like JavaScript, but its SDK is shipped with a, a Dart a VM like a Dart virtual machine. Unlike other programming languages, Dart has its own package manager called pub pub. You can actually just go like pub, but what's it called? Pub dev pub dev. You can drag uh, Package manager is a website, at least that packages and the modules. So that kind of like started getting attention like in the year 2017 and all that. When Google like announced uh, the Flutter uh, cross platform app development, a uh, mobile development. Since then, the popularity of that has like increased. So right now, that like a freshly new language app. I think because like because Google uses the Flutter framework that's very popular. So let's talk um about JavaScript. What is JavaScript? JavaScript first of all it kind of like came out as a, a language for rendering web pages using HTML and CSS. Um, but JavaScript later extended like it's, it's like uh, its features to server side non browsers when I mean service I mean the non browser mobile application development. JavaScript has like been around for like I think twenty years now or or more. So it's really a really stable programming language and it supports both O O O P S as object oriented programming and functional programming. Both kind of coding stuff it supports them. Uh, JavaScript and, uh, for its dynamic nature. I if you remember, I watched my last video about and dot variable. So dot dot is like static test uh, static type language. JavaScript is dynamic type language. So JavaScript being you know, for then for being dynamic in nature, it doesn't kind of like require compilation of the code at the client side. So JavaScript has its own package managers, which is called npm. Remember dot package manager is called pub pub dot and uh, JavaScript one is called npm. I think it's called Node Packet Manager. So I think that's a little bit brief um, description of JavaScript. So in terms of JavaScript and Dart comparison, so I was okay. Let's go to comparison these two languages. Okay, let's see the ease of use or how easy can one learn these two texts? Learn, learn how to use Dart or JavaScript. So my opinion, JavaScript been around a bit much longer um, than Dart in industry. And it's more like a mature and stable language. So JavaScript, because I learned JavaScript, it's actually my second language. JavaScript, it's very easy to use, and it kind of has so many kind of frameworks and libraries which are available online. So developers can like get easy access to this stuff when they build projects or applications. So it has this easy access to some um, frameworks and libraries. So in terms of the expert, actually saying ease of use, actually give it to JavaScript. While Dart, it's a fairly new language for most developers. It's like just new, like not very popular JavaScript. Although Google has put like a kind of like um, um put some back into document to this documentation because Dart has very good documentation. So it's still a bit hard for programmers or developers to like get that um access or solution to help when creating when you're a bit stuck at a project or uh, a, a kind of bug or something so that access it them i don't think it's more fluent and flexible stable like javascript 
Number two, in terms of popularity, we don't really answer that question, just a bonus. JavaScript wins that. So JavaScript is like, it's everywhere, it's more popular, it's been around longer, and literally almost all devices use JavaScript. Um, but on Dart, that was like, after, that was like, nobody knew about that language. After like Google announced that, okay, we announced Flutter, and that was using that for Flutter. Okay, that became like, I like, can't popular. And that just means many companies like, Google itself, Alibaba, and other stuff for creating high functional mobile platform apps. Um, number three is productivity. JavaScript is gonna have so many frameworks, and there are new, new frameworks coming up every single year. So, as developers, kind of like it's gonna be like a problem because you suck at a framework, I'm like any view until you say, okay, this new framework out which does this the better than view. I feel like I can like have to transfer to another framework, I have to come through that from the end, learn new syntax, learn new syntax, learn new new ways of doing stuff. So it's gonna come and be kind of like um that's me like pain pain a pain in the neck. So I think that's a free free a drop down back in Dodge compared to in the JavaScript compared to Dodge which has a great documentation but new open experience developers can get can get confused with the dark language features but in this way that the dark syntax is clean and mostly looks similar to like to java so if you actually develop well, probably had a java background or if you program java for it's actually easy for you to like transfer to switch in the dark languages other than that i think that has a small community because you have dark javascript so because of its like because of its um uh, Popularity jazz has a big community, so just productivity actually give it a dart. And the learning curve JavaScript is not the kind of really TC easy languages to learn, but it's in my perspective, I feel it's way easier than Dart because it's more dynamic and it's more easy to grab, so it's easy to learn. That's not that very hard, but if I look like it's not very good language. We just start with my own advice. So, call out those OOPs, those object oriented programming. It's still that similar to that Java. So, I know how Java is not that very good for beginners to learn. So, in terms of learning curve, I think JavaScript takes that. And my favorite part is speed. JavaScript it's, it's an interpreted language, so it might feel fast, faster, or maybe lighter. But it actually. It's actually faster than other like most companies like Java. However, Dart proved to be much faster than JavaScript. So I actually don't have the site right now. You can actually take the bank benchmark for Dart and JavaScript that speed. I was JavaScript is more faster and so it's compared to Dart and Node.js. So JavaScript be I said JavaScript, sorry. Dart is a bit more faster than JavaScript. Then I think for front end first and comparing to the back end, JavaScript actually originally formed for uh for reasons for use for reasons to be used in the um front end for what we using in con um in conjunction with HTML and CSS. However, with a, a rise of like Node.js framework, JavaScript is not like more widely used for the back end server, so. I don't think JavaScript is slacked in area at all, so JavaScript is actually moving back in. I've actually used Node.js and I take over inside that series in the channel. Dart, it's uh, right now, I can see it's actively used with um, Flutter for developing front end cross platform mobile apps. So it can actually be used for web development too, but there's no like really mention or notice of Dart being used for back end development. Yeah, it can actually be used for back end, but it's not very popular for that kind of stuff. And, um, and um, I think you asked me in terms of um, mm, web and mobile. JavaScript has been used in both mobile and web development in different frameworks. At one point, the release of React, Angular, Vue, and other frameworks that are very popular. So, JavaScript has been used both the mobile and web development platform. But that can be used for both mobile and web development, but that just came up along the Flutter framework like alone. So it's mostly when you just talk of Dart and Flutter, people are just go like, oh, 
mobile application development. So JavaScript and JavaScript, it's, it's multiple games for different platform from app development, we have React Native, we have Native Script, so many other stuff with JavaScript, so, so many platforms for JavaScript. So that's like web and mobile, I will say, specifically for if you know web, JavaScript is more best. Mobile JavaScript is very apt to say, I'll get down to JavaScript. Then, I was comparing Dart and JavaScript. So right now, I'm going to end with by just giving out the pros and cons of Dart and JavaScript. For Dart, the pros of Dart, it's open source. It's, to me, it's backed up by Google and runs on easy on Google Cloud Platform. It's more, I think it's like two or three times more faster than JavaScript. It's type safe and it's, yeah, it's type safe. And for cons of Dart, it's, it's fairly new to programmers and they're not really that much. The community is not that very big for preventing solutions to problems. It has a kind of a, a, a limited resources online, so it's kind of hard to get um, access and help from other developers because it's fairly new language in the market. Then for the pros of JavaScript, JavaScript can actually be used for both web and mobile apps uh, development. It can be used for both front end and back end, so JavaScript can run any every or any device JavaScript has a very big or large community and lots of good frameworks available online for to work with and develop your project with JavaScript is friendly with other languages to use so many other apps can use JavaScript so it gives you have different stuff like web or mobile app development now let's get to the cons of JavaScript JavaScript being a dynamic language can actually be, get programmers confused like when you say when you click something like oh Put in a name because of variable that name because like one variable is going to take multiple variables and um, one variable is going to take multiple values. Let's say, like you put something to the number, you keep changing. So, because that I've had that the dynamic feature, so you can confuse programs when you purchase that getting bigger the number. Then, JavaScript has some libraries which are not of good, good standard or good quality. So, there's some library JavaScript which actually crappy. I did, uh, people are trying to do I'm not, I can't say I trade it, I mean, it's a crappy, but yeah, people are there, put on the work, create those kind of libraries, so if our developers and the projects actually say thank you guys. But yes, my job is actually to work more, more so, more tedious, more painstaking. So just has a kind of like bad library, bad um, packages in the library, or bad libraries. Then there's a, the one of the buttons in JavaScript, always a constant change of something in JavaScript. Thank you.